A guide to the CAO for mature applicants. Advice on how to navigate the CAO application process. A mature applicant is normally 23 years old on or before the 1st of January of the year of admission. Before you start your CAO application, you should take some time to review the prospectuses and websites of the institutions that you are interested in applying to for more information. These documents will outline the minimum entry requirements. If you have questions, contact the admissions officers of the individual institutions and ask them to explain the entry requirements and if a quota of places applies. See the CAO Handbook for advice on whether to apply through CAO directly or both. In order to be fair to all applicants, strict deadlines apply. It is extremely important that mature applicants have registered on the CAO system before the 1st of February at 5.15pm. Most institutions will not consider you on mature grounds if you apply using the late application or change of mind facilities. You can register on the system at any stage from early November and go back to your application as many times as you like to introduce or reorder courses up to the 31st of January at 5.15 p.m. To apply to CAO, go to cao.ie and click on Apply. In order to register on the system and get your CAO application number, you must enter your personal details, including your name, date of birth, nationality, address, telephone number and email address. Please make sure to enter this information correctly. You will be asked to tick the sections of the Qualifications and Assessments section that are relevant to you. For example, Box 8 for Mature Applicants or box 2 for FETAC applicants. You may select more than one section if relevant. You will also be asked to create a unique password and prompted to enter your payment details before clicking on Proceed with Application. Once you've received your CAO application number, you will be able to log in to your CAO account online using the My Application Facility at cao.ie. You will need your CAO application number, your date of birth and the password that you created during the registration process. If you forget your password, there is a forgotten password link where you will be asked for your application number and date of birth. If you have entered an incorrect date of birth at registration, you will need to email CAO using the contact us form on our website. Using this facility, you can add or remove course choices during the identified intervals for changes. You may also change some of your personal details if necessary. You must also contact CAO directly if you need to change your name on your application. Higher education institutions wish to carefully evaluate applications for mature applicants and, therefore, need certain additional information. In the Highest Qualification to Date section, Please enter details of the highest qualification that you have achieved. If you have not received any formal qualification, you can enter Not Applicable. Qualifications that should be included in this section range from Level 3 to Level 10 qualifications, BTEC and School Leaving Certificates. In the Current Studies section, if you are currently studying other courses, 
Please outline details in a separate document and include with the supporting documents being sent to CAO. In the post-secondary education section, you must provide all details of higher and further education that you have undertaken. For example, a higher certificate, national certificate, bachelor's degree, other examples of further education studies include NCVA Level 2 or 3, VTAC Level 5 or 6, Access Course, PLC and City and Gills. In point 4, it is important to provide information and results for any exams that you have taken. For example, the Junior Certificate, Leaving Certificate before 1985, or GCE exams. In the non-certificate courses section you can include examples of non-certificate courses for example personal interest courses such as art appreciation or film studies. In the employment section you should start with your most recent position and provide details of all employment or voluntary work, including the name and address of the employer, the position held, the period of employment, and a description of duties. If English is not your first language, you must provide evidence of English language competence and details of the English language qualification that you hold. As part of your application, you will be expected to provide the names of two referees who can be contacted by the admissions officer of the institution that you are applying to, to verify the information provided on your application form. For the statement of interest, you will be asked to explain the relevance of your life and educational experience to your application and to state your educational goals and objectives. The statement of interest should be no more than 200 words. In section 10 of the application form, in no more than 100 words, you are asked to indicate any hobbies or interests that relate to your proposed study at third level. And finally, in the additional information section, please indicate if there is any additional information that you wish to advise us of that would necessitate special arrangements during the application or assessment process. Please note, school leaving examinations and FETAC results presented by mature applicants will also be considered in the normal competition for places. Mature applicants to nursing, midwifery, primary teaching and graduate medicine are not required to complete mature applicant sections 1 to 11 unless they are also applying for other courses and wish to be considered on the grounds of mature years for those courses. Applicants applying for entry to nursing or midwifery on the basis of mature years are ranked based on their score in the NCC assessment process. For graduate medicine, qualified applicants are ranked solely on the basis of GAMSAT results. To qualify, applicants must obtain a second class honours grade 1 or better in their first level 8 honours degree. As a mature applicant, you may be required to send documents to CAO to support your application. You will have to send evidence of any qualifications that you have indicated in your online application. Supplementary information that you were unable to include in the space provided. Any documentation required by each of the institutions to which you are applying. If English is not your first language, you must provide evidence of competency in the English language. 
When sending documents to CAO, we advise you to obtain a certificate of postage. CAO will communicate with applicants via post, email and SMS text if this option is selected throughout the application process. Please check all CAO correspondence carefully. Before the end of May, all applicants will be sent a Statement of Application Record as a final acknowledgement and to enable applicants to verify that all information has been recorded completely and correctly. If there is any error or omission, amend the statement and return it to CAO immediately. The majority of successful mature applicants, including mature nursing and midwifery applicants, will receive their offer in early July, in what is referred to as Round A. In early August, additional mature applicants and applicants presenting QQI Further Education Awards for consideration for entry to courses with the quota for QQI Further Education applicants may receive an offer. Subsequent offers may be made throughout the offer season up to mid-October. Some of the common pitfalls experienced by mature applicants each year are as follows. Applicants wishing to be considered on the basis of mature years must remember to tick the Mature Applicant box on the Qualifications and Assessment section of the application form. Do not forget to send in your supporting documents to CAO within 10 days of making an application. Listing qualifications on your application is not sufficient without supplementary evidence. List all qualifications and relevant work or life experience on your application and do not forget to complete the personal statement. Applicants should always check with the admissions office of the institution that they wish to apply to in order to discover if they need to apply through CAO, directly to the institution or both. Always remember to list your course choices in genuine order of preference. Receiving a conditional offer from an institution does not guarantee you a place on that course if, for example, you receive an offer of a course higher up on your preference list. Please take note of restricted courses when making changes to your CAO application. You can find all of the information about the application process that you need in the CAO Handbook and online at www.cao.ie. To request a copy of the CAO Handbook, simply log on to cao.ie and email us your postal address via the Contact Us form on the website. A demo application facility is also available on the CAO website. Go to cao.ie and click on Student Resources. Dedicated web pages are available for mature and FETAC applicants on www.cao.ie.